He was picked by President Trump to serve as the interim attorney general after Jeff Sessions was let go. But Matthew Whitaker is under fire from some who say he's not fit for the job. He's America's top lawman, President Trump's newly appointed acting attorney general. Now, Matthew Whitaker's links to a controversial company that authorities say built inventors out of millions of dollars are coming under the spotlight. I can't believe that he's been appointed to that. I, I'm, I'm shocked. Lots of people dream about inventing a new gadget that'll make millions. Just look at the success of the TV show Shark Tank. I'd love to share some samples with you. Sure. Thank you. World Patent Marketing, the company on which Whitaker served on the advisory board, promised that it could help make an inventor's brainchild a reality. They would say that if you had an idea, they could essentially take it off of a cocktail napkin and help you every step along the way to getting it on store shelves. It's a unique design that's going to help lots of people. Whitaker appeared in these 2015 videos talking about inventions that World Patent Marketing clients had come up with. As a former U.S. attorney, I would only align myself with a first-class organization, Whitaker was quoted in a 2014 company news release as saying. But the Federal Trade Commission says World Patent Marketing was a scam that bilked thousands of consumers out of 26 million dollars. Farmer Ryan Mastai says he paid World Patent Marketing $70,000, most of it from his dad's 401k, to market his invention, a social media app like Facebook, but for people with disabilities. Did you have any correspondence or communication with Matt Whitaker? So um, originally they told me that he liked the idea. But Mastai says the company's promises that his invention was worth $10 million came to nothing. So you feel like you got taken for a ride here? Oh yeah, I lost everything. Steve Harris says the company told him his invention, an inflatable device to keep pet toys from rolling under the furniture, was unique. He says he paid the company $24,000 to conduct a patent search, only to find out later that somebody else already held the patent. There was no way I was able to sell the product. This is after we had already manufactured and shipped over these products from China. In May, World Patent Marketing was ordered to shut down. They did not admit any wrongdoing, and Whitaker was not named in the FTC complaint. A Justice Department spokesperson says Whitaker was not aware of any fraudulent activity, adding stories suggesting otherwise are false.